next finger behind the ear, so that's mastoid, and then the next finger, occiput, right out to the sides of the occiput, and then the thumbs onto the front pole, and curl your palms a little bit, not fully, parietals. That's it. So, your hands are a end up like that. That's how my hands have ended up in that kind of shape, like that. So I've come around a little bit and curl, but not too much. Because if you start bearing down on lambda, or that, what was the posterior fontanelle, they won't be happy, guaranteed. That's not easy. So you need to just be very aware of the intention here, and just keep that section a little bit open. So sphenoid, temporal, temporal, occiput, frontal, parietal, don't bunch in, have the hands, the elbows out a little bit, so my wrists are in, my elbows are out, and it's about relaxing the hands, yeah, Create, probably creating a lateral width, equally as much as a posterior spaciousness, so I would, before you do all that,